That's some good singing, isn't it? It's good to see the church house pretty full tonight. Amen. Hope to be here Wednesday at 7. We meet again on Wednesday evening and uh, have special classes for the young folks and teenagers and children and special classes for the adults out here with me. And uh, I'm going to teach them how to build a fire this week. And, uh, <laughs> yo, but anyway. All right, let's get these my announcements out of the way and then we'll have the children up here will be uh, uh, singing for us tonight and doing some stuff. I'm looking forward to that. I just uh, found out, Just Jeremy just told me that uh, they had to take Miss Gladys to the hospital. And uh, so she's been in and out of the hospital now for quite a while. So <clears throat> just took her. I had some more problems with that. So I trust that you'll pray for them even tonight and throughout the week, okay? And uh, we'll, we'll check on that some more after church, okay? And then uh, also today, uh, Miss Baker and I got word that uh, Mr. Adams, the man that her mother was married to, uh, has passed away. So Sherry's uh, <laughs> mother just passed away in mid-January, and now he's passed away. And so we, we'll be having a journey up there sometime this week. We don't know yet. And pray for Rose. That's his daughter. And uh, she's an only child. And so... Uh, I hope you'll pray her. Just remember Rose is her name, and uh, you pray for her in the days ahead, okay? I don't, we don't know any type of arrangements yet, but anyway, I do pray for that situation. All right, also, <clears throat> let's see here. If you haven't, we got some few left over here. I don't know who, what's over here and who's over here, but there's some more pictures over here from the Valentine's Banquet. You come by and check it out. If yours is over here, be sure to take it with you, okay? And then also this Saturday, i uh, remind you before you go to bed, to uh, run your clock up an hour, okay? And uh, then also next Sunday at the end of the service, we'll at the church Sunday night. Next Sunday night, we'll have a meeting, uh, camp meeting meeting to get ready for camp meeting. It is 50 days away, according to Dylan. And uh, and so some of you are going to go home and find out if he's telling the truth, aren't you? And uh, is it from the day or tomorrow? He don't he's just one or the other. It's 50 days from somewhere. <laughs> for today, he said. All right. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, I think that's everything that, uh, as far as announcements. I appreciate those. We got some more pledge cards in. I appreciate those who have pledged. I've been praying, God, we really need to raise this $18,000. If everybody will give a little extra, uh, the Lord will give. He always gives it. So, uh, anyway, I, you folks got more faith than I got. I always worry about it. And uh, I shouldn't, but I do. Okay. All right, well, right now, here they come. It's five young ladies, two young men. They're going to come in and uh, sing for us. We got time for stuff. Let me cut these off. I'll put that one over there. For the past month, I've been trying to teach the kids about the miracles of God. And uh, I try to tell them that, you know, we read in the Bible about all the miracles that happened then, but how God did the miracle. But God can do miracles for us now, too. And I want them, as they grow up, to see God work in their life and look out there and, and just in their life to see what God, the miracles that he does for all of us. And uh, so we've enjoyed that. So we're going to do a little skit right now for you, okay? All right. Ready? All right. I want to know, who put these books here? I didn't. Neither did I. No one did. So you mean to tell me that books, they just grow feed and they just move around by themselves and put themselves where they want to be? Of course not. That would be ridiculous. Yeah, right. Someone had to put these books here. We just don't know who. Well, how about the stars? Who puts the stars in the sky? I did it. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> so how could no one just pop the stars up there? Can stars make themselves? They just decide one day, I just think I'll just pop up into the sky. Is that what happens? No? Mm. <laughs> of course not. That would be, <laughs> that would be 
ridiculous. Someone had to put in there. Someone very powerful. Someone very wise. And someone very beautiful. It couldn't just have happened. It's crazy to find in a science book notifications from some primordial book. It's crazy because the odds are clear. They don't turn as zebras even in a billion years. There has to be a place. There are too many moving parts. There has to be a place. And a builder.
children. Uh, I, I like it. That's when I got up in the hallway, they were fixing to go into the room when they meet on Wednesday night. Uh, Nicholas and, and Noah are already in there doing mischief, but anyway, they was already in there, and they was, hey, preacher, hey, papa, how you doing? And the girls were somewhere else doing something. They all come down the hall, all five of them. And here they come down the hall. And you know what? All five of Yeah, I tell you what, isn't that precious? And uh, and those girls love their mom and dads too. And uh, I'm glad they love their preacher too. All right, praise the Lord. And uh, one preacher said, Brother Baker, how do you settle, how do you handle problems in your church? I said, I don't have too many. Well, what, what do you do if you have one? I said, I turn my widows loose on them. <laughs> and if the widows don't take care of them, I turn the, the young kids loose on them. It's that middle crowd to worry about. <laughs> All right, well, uh, this week, uh, Friday and yesterday and today, uh, Brother McCormick and his wife and Kevin over here, they have uh, worked diligently and hard and, uh, and just working with the choir, really uh, put the choir, what you might say, through basic training, you want to call it, musically, and uh, uh, pray for Brian here because he's, uh, he is really, he said this morning he was doing this. And this afternoon he was doing this. He said, I've got to do something with this, preacher. I've got to do some push-ups or something to get my strength back in my arms to direct the choir. And, uh, and so uh, I, I want to say once again how much I appreciate those uh, who have been in the choir and those who have joined the choir. And it's not big. It's not too big that you can't join. Wow. We've, we've already made a, got a way that we, it can grow and, and we can put more in the choir without – we've already got a space for you, okay? And so we hope you will. And uh, consider that, and uh, it'd be a real blessing, okay? But they're going to come right now. They're going to sing a bunch of songs for us. And uh, uh, since the choir's not singing, they're going to sing probably four or five songs, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I don't know. Uh, we'll sing one All right, do that. Sing about four then, at least four, okay? All right. Well, we look around and see all that God has done for us. He's been good to us, amen? We've got so much to thank Him for. He's done for me, I know, I know I'm unworthy of it all, but His blessings Blessing He freely gives, I owe, I owe my life to Him, I've got so much to thank Him for, I've got so much to thank Him for. So much to praise him for, you see, he's been so good to me, and when I think, I think of what he's done and where, and where he has brought me from, I've got so much to thank him for. Hey, if God's been good to you, say amen. Amen. Sometimes, Sometimes while on this way, I, I kneel and stop and say thank you, thank you for all you've done for me. Someday I'll reach, I'll reach sweet heaven shore. Oh, please, oh, please let me kneel once more. I've got so much to thank Him for. I've got so much to thank Him for. 
so much to praise him for. He's been so good to me. And when I think, I think of what he's done and where, and where he has brought me from, I've got so much to thank him for. And when I think, I think of what he's done and where, and where he has brought me from, I've got so much to thank him for. Amen. You know, it is good to be in God's house. Mr. Soundman, I think you need to turn us down in the monitors, I think, a little bit. I want you to do this. Make sure if you have not stopped by the foyer out there, make sure you stop by the foyer and pray for us. Get you a prayer card. Pray for the McCormick family. We need your prayers. Say amen. And uh, pray for us every weekend as we do choir revivals around the world. We uh, try to book every weekend and schedule a choir revival every weekend. We need you to pray for us. That God will give us wisdom what to do. Amen. Now, I, um, I'm thankful that I serve a God tonight that nothing ever takes him by surprise. Amen. Amen. Aren't you glad to know that you can lay your head on your pillow at night knowing that Jesus can take care of you? Hey, you know, we worry a lot of times. You know, you said that, I think, either tonight or this morning. We worry, and we shouldn't have to worry. I know I'm probably a bigger worrier than you, but we don't have to worry because Jesus really can take care of us. Amen. Hey, do you like good news? Good news is... The same God that took care of Daniel in the lion's den, that's the same God will take care of me and you. The same God that took care of Jonah in the belly of the whale, that's the same God we serve. Jesus can take care of me. If he can paint a sunset in the western sky, if he can make the sun to rise up in the east. If he can rise up from the grave after dying on a tree, then I know Jesus can take care of me. He can walk on the water He can calm the raging storm when my ship is going down. So why should I worry when I have his peace? I know Jesus can take care of me. If he can save the Hebrew children from the fire, if he can rescue Daniel from the lion's teeth, and if for the children of Israel he can part the Red Sea, then I know Jesus can take care of me. He can walk on the water where I am. He can calm the raging storm when my ship is going down. So why should I worry when I have this peace? I know Jesus can take care of me. So why should I worry when I have this peace? I know Jesus can take care of me.
I know Jesus can take care of me. Now, even though we're not supposed to, but we do worry sometimes and we fret. But have you ever felt like just giving up sometimes? You ever felt like it's just not worth it, I just can't go on? Devils fault me and fault me and fault me and I just don't know that I can take any more. But aren't you glad that during those times, aren't you glad that during those times Jesus don't beat us up? He don't kick us when we're down. He just loves on us and puts us right back in that field of grace. Amen. You know, many times when we see somebody down, we go aid in their destruction, so to speak, and we want to kick them when we're down. But Jesus never does that. Amen. Aren't you glad of that? Hey, before long, the clouds will begin to disappear. Blue skies will start coming back, and He'll put you right back in that field of grace. I'm so thankful that Jesus loves us enough that he don't let us stay down he always puts us back in that field of grace clouds are disappearing skies are turning blue but it was just a while ago I told him I was through but he did not rebuke me, but with arms of strong embrace, he picked me up and carried me into a field of grace, where all is quiet, leaning on his breast, he pulled me from stormy sea to a place where I could rest and he told me I was loved he told me I was safe and I could stay until healing came in this holy field of grace had to pass through deserts and had to face strong winds but I didn't tread them all that much cause I knew he would come again he led me to still waters and there he let me stay until my soul had been restored in this healing field deserts had to face strong winds but I didn't dread them all that much cause I knew he would come again he led me to still waters and there he let me stay until my soul had been restored in this healing field of grace where all is quiet leaning on his breast he pulled me from 
a stormy sea to a place where I could rest. You told me I was loved. You told me I was safe. And I could stay until healing came in this holy field of grace. He told me I was loved, told me I was safe, and I could stay until healing came in this holy field. I thank the Lord for moving upon the hearts of people in times like that. It's two, one, three wonderful songs. Amen. And uh, matter of fact, I'm going to be preaching something tonight about their grace. It's going to be my message, and I'm looking forward to that. Boy, I tell you what, I can't wait to get to heaven. Amen. I was telling Miss Deborah, she's her, her and her husband's heart's still heavy. And, uh, and even though it's been over over a year now since Keith <coughs> was killed in a car wreck, but you know, some folks grieve different than others. Some grieve longer than others. And uh, so we just have to, and there's nothing wrong with that. You hear what I said? There's nothing wrong with that. So we, a couple of ladies prayed with her and I prayed with her. And here's a little bit of what I said to her. If your son could speak to you right now from heaven, he would say to you, Mama, don't cry. Mama, don't cry. It's better here. If he had a chance to come back, he wouldn't come back. Are you listening to me? If you've got a husband, a wife, or a son, or a daughter, brother, or sister, a best friend who's in heaven and you miss them, they don't want to come back. They're with the Lord. They, they're they there. Amen? And we ought, to, we ought to shout the victory over that in the midst of our tears sometimes. Okay? I mean, Sherry, even today, even to this day, she still talks to her mother. Yeah, she passed by. She said, hello, Mama. And then she'll answer back, hello, Sherry. And then when we lived over here in the, in the, in the house, we had a light in there, just a lamp to just go off, come on by itself. She said, that's Daddy. I said, your daddy got to stop that junk. <laughs> now, you tell him, I said, stop that junk. I'm telling two o'clock, hey, lamp come on at 2 o'clock in the morning right in your face, you know, you're ready to knock it over. But anyway. But I'm glad that our loved ones know what's going on down here. And so if you've got a loved one, they would say, hey, it's wonderful. W wish you would hear. You heard that song? And so, and though loved ones you miss, and they, uh, they you'll, if they're saved and you're saved, you'll see them again one day. What a reunion day that's going to be. Amen. All right. Well, it's time to receive an offering. Now, we took it this morning or put the plates up here and some of you gave. And, but maybe you didn't give your tithes and offerings this morning. But other than the tithes and offerings, we're going to pass the offering plates again. And this goes to uh, goes to them as they travel all over this country, all over the world, really, helping churches this size, some smaller, some larger, uh, some just getting started and getting the choir going and, and doing special singing, stuff like that. And so uh, they've never mentioned to me, we got to have this much money. Now, if you buy a tire for a bus, it don't cost $75. It'd take that much to put the air in it. And uh, and so if you have a flat tire and you say, boy, that tire costs a lot of money, put one on a bus, okay? And uh, change the oil in the bus and see what it costs you. And so that's their home away from home. And they, we want, they want to keep it as safe as they can on the road as long as they can. So what we give tonight, we'll go toward that and toward some of their expenses. And, of course, we're going to give them some love offering from our church. And to add to this, okay? So you give what God tells you to give, and we'll rejoice in that. All right, let's stand and sing a couple of verses of a song. Oh. 
all right? Can we do something a little bit different, preacher, yeah, right quick? Different. Okay, all right, Brother Cedric, come on up here. All right, y'all can all stand. Let's turn to page 43. I'm going to give y'all one more good laugh. You get behind me and direct it like it's supposed to be. Here's what I want you to direct me like it's oh, okay. supposed to be. All right, first and last, page number 43. All right, here we go. All right. And then we'll stop it. Okay, so watch him. Watch him. All right. We're on the last. On the last one. First. I can't it's handle the last one. one he can take. I can't handle but one more. All right, ready? Here we go. All right, all right. This is on my home. Has this been broadcasted around the world? So folks around the world are saying, them folks at Welch Creek, a little bit loony. What Brother Whitman say, a little bit lunaticky? Well, anyway, I'm glad that we can rejoice in the Lord. Amen. And uh, all right, we'll pray and ask God to bless the offering. Lord Jesus, thank you now that we can once again receive an offering to help out somebody else. Lord, many gave this morning for this endeavor. We thank you for that. Now, Lord, we pray that you'll bless it again tonight. Please, dear God, bless them on the highways they travel. Protect them, Lord, and keep them safe. Lord, give them good health on the road. And, Lord, I pray that each and every place they, they go, Lord, and work in will be a great success and give you honor and glory in it. We ask this now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I'll say you're going to sing one more before preaching. Is that what you said? All right, that's good. And uh, then when they get through singing, we'll have some preaching. Even this world 
could never contain how I have been blessed. Warmth in the winter, flowers in spring, laughter in summer, the changing of leaves, food on my table, a good place to sleep, clothes on my back, and shoes on my feet, oh I have been blessed, I have been blessed, God's so good to me, precious are his thoughts of you and me, no way I could count them, there's not enough so I'll just thank him for being so kind. God has been good, so good. I have been blessed. Arms that can raise and a voice that can talk. Hands that can touch and legs that walk, ears that can listen, and eyes that can see, oh, I've got to praise him as long as I breathe, because I have been blessed, a father and mother who nurtured and raised, sisters and brothers and sweet memories made this pastor to lead us an altar to pray stripes that can heal oh in blood that can save oh i have been blessed i have been blessed to me. Precious are his thoughts of you and me. No way I could count them. There's not enough time. So I'll just thank him for being so kind. God has been good, so good. I have It's the greatest on earth. Our flag stands for freedom and what it is worth. She stands in the harbor. Miss Liberty calls. All have gave some, but some gave their all for me to be blessed. He's my shoulder to lean on when I am down. And he's the rock that I run to when I'm overwhelmed. The place where he hides me is under his wings. He's not just a song. He's the reason I sing, oh, I have been blessed, I have been blessed, God's so good to me, precious are his thoughts of you and me, no way I could count them, there's not enough time. So I'll just thank him for being so kind. God has been good, so good. I have been blessed. Well, God has been good.
good. He is so good. And I have been blessed. He's a blessing God, isn't he? And uh, maybe you'd like to come. Maybe. Maybe you felt like coming, didn't want to interfere with the soul. I want you to know these altars are always open for you to come and pray. Not even encourage you right now. If you'd like to come, find a place up here and just say, Lord, I want to thank you for blessing my life. Or maybe you're going through something right now. Or somebody in your family is going through something. You want to pray for them. But all to be blessed. All to be blessed. You might want to make that pew into an altar right there where you sit. Just feel free to do that. I have been blessed. Amen. There you go. He walks among us. All that he does. All of his mercy. And all of his love, if the pen of the writer could write every day, well, even this world could never contain how I have been blessed. Warmth in the winter, flowers in spring, laughter in summer, the changing of leaves, food on my table, a good place to sleep, clothes on my back, and shoes on my feet, oh I have been blessed. I have been blessed, God's so good to me, precious are his thoughts of you and me, no way I could count them, there's not enough time, so I'll just thank him for being so kind. God has been good, so good. I have been blessed. He's my shoulder to lean on when I am down. And he's the rock that I run to when I'm overwhelmed. The place where he hides me is under his wing. He's not just a song. He's the reason I sing. Oh, I have been blessed. I have been blessed, God's so good to me, precious are his thoughts of you and me, no way I could count them, there's not enough time, so I'll just thank him for being so kind, God has been good, so good, I have been blessed, well God has been good, he's so good, oh I have been blessed. Miss Ruth to come to the piano and play something softly. And Tanya, we want you to, if you would, you just come over here and just sort of sit on this front pew and just move that camera out of the way. And 
Tanya's got a rare disease. And it's hardly dated. She's not in pain. And we want our ladies to come tonight and gather around her and pray that God would so touch her that the doctors can't figure out what it is, said it shouldn't be there. And I want you ladies just to gather around this altar up here and put your hands on each other and just pray for Tanya. Fellas, you pray. There you go, little girls. That's wonderful. Just ask God to bless Miss Tanya, Miss McCormick. Sweet our prayer. Oh, Lord Jesus. We pray that you'll touch Miss Tanya. What the doctors cannot figure out. Lord, we know you know exactly what it is. We pray, God, that you'll help her, touch her. We sure want your will to be done. God, we pray that you'll enable her to keep going for the glory of God. And Lord, if you choose to use a physician to help out, that'd be fine. But Lord, we know you can touch her. You need no help. You're a good God. You're our Heavenly Father. She's one of your children. We who are saved, pray for her. Please, God, help her. Help her. Help her. We claim it in Jesus' name. We plead the, plead the precious blood. That blood that saved us, that blood that's redeemed us and seals us to the day of redemption. We ask you to help her. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I would hope that you ladies especially would write that name down in your Bible somewhere, a piece of paper, and put her name down, and that you'll make it a point to pray for her each day. I pray that she'll have the best night of sleep tonight she's ever had. I'm trusting God to touch her. And, and when you go two or three years without a, in a pain every day, it's it could, it could be exhausting. Amen. Especially when you know what God's going you to do. Just... But anyway, praise the Lord. I don't know what to do now. But uh, and sometimes you don't know what to do. You just don't do anything. Now, I got a message over there. and uh, But I don't feel like, like right now, Lord, want me to preach it right now. And we're just going to go to the land of Lodabar. And, uh, but we'll take care of that another time, okay? Yes, ma'am, Miss Williams, go right ahead. Yeah, that's right, Miss Williams. You know exactly what she's going through. Two children, same time. Yeah, 
Do you hear that, Dad? She'll, it takes a long time, she said. Thank you, Miss Williams. Here's the latest. Had two children to die. Same time. Amen. Anyone else want to say anything? Yes, Chris. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful, Chris. Do you make that set, set out the last statement again? Pushed each other through it. The Bible says two is better than one. It's pushed each other through it. Amen. Met a girl went, raised out here and got saved out here, serving God out here. I like it out here. Amen. Anyone else? Yes, back there in the back. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God answers prayer in the mountains. In the valley, in the plains, in the jungle. He's a God answering prayer. Amen. Anyone else? Lord, won't you just, Brother Jerry? <laughs> That's my daughter, and I love her. That's Chris's wife. That's Jerry's daughter. And he said he loves her. Wow, that's good stuff. That's wonderful stuff. Anyone else? Want to share what's on your heart? Yes, Miss Nancy? Isn't that amazing? Only through prayer. When you have a spine like this, and you go back a short time later and it's straight, doctors can't figure that out. It just happened. Yeah, right. Well, they just own up to it. God had to do that. Amen. Anybody else want to share something with us on your heart? Right here, brother. Uh, 
He always makes a way. Yeah. 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 I do too. Wow. Yes, he is. The doctor. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Thank you, brother. Amen. You'll be surprised, this little church out in the country, what God has done here over the years and, and how people hear about this little church. And let me say this to you, it's God. It's not us. It's the Lord that lives in us. Let's never forget who's the foundation of this, the chief cornerstone. He's the head of it. He's the supplier of it. He's the operator of it. It's him and him and him and nobody else. Amen? All right. Anyone else? Or you want me to get my sermon out? Miss Alice, go ahead and say something. Many prayers answered. Amen. Well, the lions has been close to death many times. I mean, right on him. That's Alice said, I think he's going to go, Brother Baker. I said, well, he ain't gone yet. He got some more fishing to do. He got some more jail, got some more jail fellows need, need the gospel. Amen. Anyone else want to say something? Miss, go ahead. That's right. I think you're doing a wonderful job, that little girl. Amen. How would you like to be up in years and retired and have a little one? That she keeps them young. Justina keeps them gone, young. Brother Lee had to take up golf just to rest. <laughs> uh, anyone else? Miss Joanne? Yeah, the children, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Amen. Wow. You didn't hear that in the back. When she's going through the tough, one of the toughest times in her life, her little granddaughter put a scripture verse on her door. What verse was it, Jeremiah what? 3217. And uh, that's good when your granddaughter do that. They help out grandmother. All right, anyone else? Okay, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to, uh, we've got some refreshments over here. We want everybody to meet over there. And uh, this has uh, been on the live wire. These folks can't hear. They see me talking. They probably cut us off already. But I'll, this, this, we, this has been a good message tonight, hasn't it? I mean, I'm glad the real preacher showed up tonight. The song service with the kids and the testimony time. I like it when he blows through every once in a while. We'd like it every day, wouldn't we? And uh, so we're going to go ahead out here. And our ladies have fixed some refreshments to just to say we love you. Hope you'll, and I hope all of you will just make your way back here. Be careful, okay? And uh, enjoy the whatever they got. <laughs> we have got fried bologna. Hey. And we've grilled some onions and put on a fried bologna sandwich with a bit of mustard. And we got some potted meat. Buying the sausage with 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 uh, saltine crackers and salads. Don't get no sardines. Yeah, we got some sardines too with a little bit of mustard on that. Amen. Let's stand. David. David's ready to go. Look at him. All right. He'll be first in line. Let's stand up. If the Lord's help you tonight, say amen. amen. All right. We're going to make our way over here. Just have some fellowship. I think our ladies have. I don't know who done it, but they uh, fixed it. So preacher, we're gonna have a little fellowship time since we had company today. We want to celebrate this, and so get over there as quick as you can. Eat as quick as you can. Get home as quick as you can. But first, go back there, and if you get a chance, and if you want to buy a tire, or tape, or whatever CD, do that. Okay, we, we're gonna have to say the blessing out here. So when we get over there, we'll have to say it again. All right, Lord Jesus, we sure thank you for the service tonight. Thank you, dear God, for speaking to so many hearts tonight. And Lord, I do pray that hearts and lives have been helped. And I believe they have. You've helped me. And Lord, I ask you now that you would bless our fellowship as we have a little refreshments together. Father, we do thank you for uh, the McCormicks and Kevin, Lord, that you've sent them our way. We pray God we'll get to see them sometime in the very near future. But until then, Lord, we pray again that you'll bless them. Now bless the food we're about to receive. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen and amen. I will arise and go to Jesus. He will embrace me in his arms. In the arms of my dear Savior, oh. There are ten thousand charms. It shout in time and heaven, a sinner once lost is found. It shout in time and heaven, salvation has been brought down. No wonder the angels rejoice and all my sins have been covered by the crimson flowing now.